I pour the smoothie in my containers in the sink so that cleanup is easy because I almost always spill some and I get tired of wiping off the counter or the table so this makes cleanup easier. So I'm gonna drink this throughout the day. I start with the glass and then I add a little bit more from the jar to my glass throughout the day. Sip on the water throughout the day. I don't try to chug all of this at once, all of it in the morning. Take my time and drink it throughout the day. I just went Grocery shopping, well, kind of grocery shopping. I just went to one store. I want to make some more broth for my Asian noodle soup. What do we have? Lemongrass. What is this? These are two types of, I think they're related to the, they're part of the bok choy family. Hmm. One is called yu choy. Okay, I think this, I think this is called red shen choy. S-H-E-N choy. And I think this, is the shoe choy. I think this is you choy. Why you? I don't know. Can you see that? Shop at Namdai Man. I think this is called you choy, and I think this is called red shen choy. S H E N choy. Why you choy? I'm assuming they're part of the bok choy family. I don't know. I've never had them before, but I am excited to see what it tastes like. It's gorgeous. These leaves are gorgeous. Okay, what else did I get? Some culantro. Green onions. Lime. This is like a Vietnamese inspired soup I'm making. Thai inspired. They always put lime in their soups. Some spicy peppers. These are serrano peppers. Roasted seaweed. Dried mushrooms. Uh, my favorite mung bean sprouts. I love these. They taste so good. <sighs> oh yeah, I'm also making my own chili garlic paste. And I don't have time to peel a bunch of garlic. I, I only buy pre-peeled garlic when I'm making my homemade chili garlic paste. So I have garlic and some Thai chilies for that. And I also purchased some fried chili paste. This is the brand I use. It's the only chili paste brand I found that doesn't have soybean oil in it or monosodium glutamate, also known as MSG. 
a lot of the chili oils have those ingredients. So, this is what I got. I'm not gonna record myself making the soup because I'm still experimenting with the recipe. But I will show you the end result. Oh yeah, and the cashier at the grocery store had an attitude because I brought my own grocery bags to the grocery store and because I didn't put plastic on my vegetables or my limes or anything like that. She was mumbling stuff under her breath. <laughs> it was quite ridiculous. I had to laugh at her right there in front of her. I didn't understand what the big deal was, but um, yeah, I feel no shame. Bring your own bags, people. <laughs> Washing my produce and water with a little bit of vinegar. My limes, everything, peppers. I am determined, determined to learn how to use chopsticks. <laughs> I've looked at so many YouTube videos. Does anyone know of a good video to show how to hold the fingers? Like, I feel like I'm holding them right. <laughs> I'm determined, I'm gonna keep practicing. So the broth came out really, really delicious. It actually made me a little emotional. <laughs> I've been trying to make a good vegan pho broth. Well, I kind of mixed pho and this other Vietnamese soup called Ban Bo Hue. Like, I like both of those soups, so I mixed some of the ingredients from each of those soups to make like the ultimate vegan broth for any of your Asian noodle soups. I've been working on a broth for like the last year and it never turns out, it never turned out the way I wanted it to turn out, to turn out. So, I don't know, I think I've gotten it finally. This is really, really good. I use a lot of lemongrass, garlic. Um, I'll go over it with you. I'll share the recipe um, soon. But it's delicious. I have mushrooms, chili paste. This is some homemade chili paste, chili garlic paste that I made. Um, it has a ton of garlic, chilies. Um, I think I used two types of chilies. But yeah, this stuff makes everything taste good. So I put some of this in it, as well as this fried chili paste that I like to use. Sometimes it's a little bit oily, so I don't use much of this. And I have herbs, cabbage, green onions, some mushrooms. I put mushrooms in the broth as well, dried mushrooms. So I save those mushrooms now that they're soft and they're soaked and I slice them heated them up in a skillet, put that in there, and some rice noodles. So I'm about to annihilate this bowl of soup. I'm so excited. And I will see you at the next meal. Bye. Having a Lara bar for a snack. These are the only candy bars, quote unquote, <laughs> that I eat. Um, I don't even really consider them candy bars. They I love these candy bars because the ingredients are super wholesome. Dates, cashews, almonds, lemon juice, concentrate, dried lemon juice, concentrate, and lemon oil. Those are the ingredients in this bar. No crap, no sugar. These are awesome. I'm gonna have a little bit more of my green smoothie. And I'll probably have some chips too. I'm craving potato chips. I have a few potato chips as a snack with this lemon bar and some green smoothie. And this is what the lemon bar looks like. 
if you've never seen a Lara bar before. For dinner, I am heating up some leftover Indian food, eggplant and potato curry, and my favorite chana masala, chickpeas. Got something left to hold on to. Here's my dinner, Got my curry, my chana masala, and some rice. And some reusable napkins, much better for the environment and for your wallet. This is the first restaurant I'm going to that makes food very spicy. I always order food extra spicy everywhere I go and they never make it spicy because many Americans, they just can't handle spicy food I don't think. I don't know what the issue is. But this is the first restaurant I've been to that actually makes the food spicy when I request it. Like really, really extremely hot. It's crazy. And I love it. <laughs> I want to be in pain when I eat my Indian food. All right. So that's dinner. I'm about to watch a movie and relax. And I hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you in the next one. Bye! I got something left to hold on to I got something left to believe in